Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day with the Traders. Thanks to Sportsbet. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Wando. And Gavin. King Cow. King Cow. This is the moment we've been waiting yeah. for all year. <laughs> I'm back. You he just goes up. bang. Yep. What did you do? I pumped out a big one, dog. 2,500. And I'm not talking about <laughs> this morning either. No, it was, uh, yeah, 2,500. And nice. you know how this, this podcast, it's not the official podcast of the Olympics, but we all know the athletes <laughs> do listen to it. Yeah. So who's this going to inspire? They've sent, me, they've sent me a gold medal. Oh, right? look at that. So I've got a gold medal, which I will uh, proudly wear around my neck. It's got a piece of the uh, Eiffel Tower in it. It does. So gold medalist this week. You're a piece. Thank you, uh, Ariana, for sending it over. Oh, my God. Yep. Gold medalist, Roy. Right. Ariana. 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 Oh, my God. You are an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> Could have at least just gone with Arnie. That's Arnie. what everyone else that can't pronounce it. Well, says. that's it. So either way, yeah. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. 25. 25. Yeah. 25. Wait, wait, wait. So you about... moved up 1,600 spots. I did, yes. Just uh, 7,680. Hunt, hunting a hat. You are. You're going well. I was just thinking around Launceston, there's probably two walls left without, what do you call it, Ariane? Yes. Yeah. Ari. Head on it. Arnie. Maybe we should have a couple of cow heads after that. Could have a pirate hat on there as well. A mural. Yeah. Yeah, oh for Calvinator. 2-5. Now, Two Roy, yes. you beat me by eight points in the end. I thought you were going to smoke me. I should. Yes, you should have. 4 yeah. you had. Yeah, just disappointing, pathetic. Um, so that leaves me 166. Down 19 spots. Still achievable. No, nah, it's Three not. Three weeks. Not when you fumble like me. I've got oil on my hands. No good. Mitch McGovern. Playing in Darwin. Oh, Mitch McGovern. See, he's got an excuse. He was bloody concussed. He was concussed. I've been doing mine, like my trades, you know, under a slight bit of influence. However, no concussion. No. God. You are the blues, though. Bloody oath I am. And I've got the blues as a result. We're just there sitting in second, just knocking on the door. Next minute, blink, we'll be out of the eight. Jeez, I was barracking for Hawthorne. That would have got him out of the eight. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, unbelievable. What on earth? But, yeah, so technically, dog, still a chance, but mm. my team's just uh, really, like, limping towards the finish line. I, I um, found a pole vaulter that summed up my last <laughs> I did month. see that. And I it couldn't be more right. I loved it. Here he goes. Oh, he's nearly at the pinnacle. Oh. Nearly- Uh-oh. Uh, fell on, fell on his side. face. Yada, 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 yada. That is me. Well, if you're Carlton, I'm the Bombers. You get some hope sometimes, yeah. and then you completely get let down. This wasn't a week of hope. I didn't align with the Bombers. Far I'd just prefer them to lose, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't even get on the ladder predictor this week. What? I just, I just, He's put it away. Done. And then they go and win a game. Well, that was pretty exciting. But anyway, uh, 23 94 for the Warn Dogs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hang on, hang on. Outside. What did you get? 2300. I scored 2,500 and you've scored 2,300. 2,394. Still 2,300. <laughs> That's disgusting. I slipped down 57 <laughs> spots to be outside the top 1,000 now to 1,012. Oh, dog, you need to get inside of it. You will. I do, uh, you do. You'll get back in there. If only you made real good decisions and stuff. Yeah. Which team are you, Calvin? What team am I? Are you the Crows? Are we just the same? No, no, teams? no. The Crows, the Crows aren't any good at the moment. <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> so you're coming off a good win. Who got a win? I'm like uh, kangaroos. Yeah. Yeah. Started off really badly, couldn't get a win, and then finally got one. And you, beat, <laughs> you beat no one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly right. Here it is! That's what you did, did he? You stuck it right up them. Now, I traded Tim English to Rowan Marshall for his 131, so I'll take that. It was riding the wrong, and oh, Roma, he did. Finish bloody strong in that game. Uh, 41 points, two goals in that last quarter. So that's that made nice. it nice just to go, finally got that done. Well, that's funny because when we got in here, you were complaining about his score and there was only 10 minutes left in the game. Yeah, kick two late goals. My he, gosh, he loves that, that, is, that. that is elite. Elite rocketing. Good work, dog. Mm. There you go. Good I'll on. give mine to uh, our big boy x for his 150. <laughs> now, here you go. Oh, 85 points. 85 points from tackles and hitouts. He doesn't even have to get a touch. And that's a free 85 points before he even gets I a I think kick. he wins the hit out to give it to someone else so he can tackle them. That's, that's just, how he just operates. To crunch them. <laughs> it's elite <laughs> fantasy work, right? He's there. amazing. He's so good. Now, mine doesn't sound exciting, but in an F6 that has done nothing yeah. but fail. 
Pete Lang just worked his backside off. Ten tackles he laid for a score of 97, which would be my best score in F6 by a mile for a long time. It's huge. It was the most disgraceful display I've ever seen. Because it's just not acceptable. Here we go. Here we go. Who's going first? Well, Warney had some hard luck in that. Hard luck? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because I listened to this, Peter. Don't listen to me. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Mason Wood. Oh, Woody. My Woodbecker. <laughs> How did he go? He was all right. He was a, that's yeah. what he did to me. <laughs> Laughed at me like that. He was a flop in the end. I'm glad you terrible. didn't do it, Roy. <laughs> Minus one Might in the first well quarter. Have. Minus what? one. What? You don't recover from you that. You can't recover from that. He ended up with 55. So still, that's not even a good enough three-quarter effort. No. <laughs> it's just, it's no you good. talk about your F6, Roy, being a good thing. Mason yeah. Wood is not a good thing. Um, and what sucks is that he's got Richmond this week. Oh, but racks. I still have to trade him. For that, you got to you punish him. You cannot that. hold on to He that. racks this week, just quietly. He'll turn up. I you'll hold him, won't you? Of course I'll hold him. You've got to trust the wood. He should be fine. Trust the wood. Right. At this time of year, you need your premiums to stand up, especially oh. ones that you've gone out of your way to get in because you justified that they were in the top echelon. Mm. Josh Dunkley. What a Ooh. pretender for the second time in three weeks. And are those three weeks you've owned him? Yeah, so listen wow. to the quarter splits. Nine. Yeah, that's right. Nine. In the first quarter. Nine. Not tw- touches. No. Nah. 28. Yep, that's about right. Oh, my God. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Eight in the third. Well, lucky he came home strong. He came home third, um, strong, sorry, in the fourth with 38. So he had 10 touches up to three-quarter time. Ouch. Ten. And then he had 10 in the last to get that 38. That, that is just pathetic. There's no of, other way. Getting rid of him? No, I've just given up now. He can just stay there. All right, I'll give my negative three. Oh, you need Heaney. You need Heaney, oh, everyone so says. You broke him. You need a forward line. Everyone needs Heaney. Yeah, no, you sorry don't. Sorry about that. No. 68, eight points in the last quarter. Yes, they got an absolute toweling. So mm. if you're a Brownlow medalist, you stand up in a You towel. do. Goulding got a ton. Yeah. Anyway, so he only just beat, and I'm going to say this, dog, he only just beat the woodpecker. He did. Yep. It's disgusting work. You call yourself a weasel. <laughs> you yeah. legit are now. That's disgusting. Um, now, <laughs> did we nail our trades this week? Uh, uh-huh. See, this is what I – I um, look at my trades like the two that I was going to uh. go with. So <laughs> yeah. when you're trying to split a 50-50 yep. and you go the wrong way by a long way – so no, I didn't nail my trades. I did, dog. I went Logan Evans yeah. to uh, Nick Newman. Well, that's massive. Jeez, you've gained, what, 90-odd points from that? We'll round it off to 100. That's huge. <laughs> that's, that's great trade. Why you yeah. beat me by 100? <laughs> great It's trade. a rookie, though. Come on. Great Richard. Trade. And it's round 21. Yeah, I, was, I know. Mate. I know. Um, now, I, oh, well, I was up because it was English to Marshall, so that was good. But the other trade, mm. instead of just doing mucking around with bench moves, mm. why did I bother with that? Why didn't I go Woody to... Peatling or Woody to Filippo or yeah. whatever, yes. where you're looking at those moves because you might as well do that sort of stuff. I think so. So I did actually throw it out on Twitter this morning. Oh, yes. In, seeing what people were um, – like their, their negatives, basically. Yep. Mm. Good. The plus minus, like when you're on the floor, like yep. Galvin playing for the City Rockets. Yep. <laughs> what was the plus minus like for you? Plus 35. No, right. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> and some. Anyway, um, set when you pass it off to Depends your Depends if Roy was out there with yeah. me, though, to be honest. <laughs> Pig status. Uh, now, MJ said uh, he dropped Houston for Sheasel, so that one hurt this week. It did. What yeah. Port Adelaide did. Um, At least she still got 100, though, but yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah, people like... Richards was a big shocking talker last yep. week. So young to Richards was minus twenty five for Sanch there with that. Um, now Simon, he's a legend of the community here. Went Rivers to Richards, so that hurt. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Rosie to Sarong, mm. so that would have been thirty, yeah, 30 points, there too. Yep. Goodness me. Um, yeah, and then in that keeping Jackson. Oh, he was so bad in the second half minus one, oh. la- minus one last quarter oh, and two go. point last half Not two points jacket. in the last half oh. that's Woody Woodpecker like wow what was he number one draft pick or something top two he was, was. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. yeah oh, few there few there like the Trelaw one you, that was bad you were every chance to have traded out Somewhere a better. higher score yeah so I went Sam Rose Walsh Lee. was there yeah Rosie Rosie was there Butters people were looking at Lons was there 
Yeah, they were all there. Can't Mary. believe you even made that an idea to trade Bont, though. That was on your head. Me? Yes. No, I never said that. Hey, you've got to have something to talk about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Ryan to Jack Sinclair it was all right, but Luke Ryan out for most of those forwards. Yeah. No, defenders, sorry. Yeah, it was a, a flop. He was just yep. doing it again. He was back. Doing and what they were letting him do it. Yep. You're going to feel better about it. Sam did um, Luke Ryan out. Went to Stewart. Lost 14 points on that one. But, geez, you'd st- you would oh, still call that a win. That's you? still a yeah, win. Yeah, like <laughs> you, there's three more weeks and you'll be happy for those. Yep. Uh, Scott went Danaher to Myers. To Myers. Myers. Goodness me. That guy's unbelievable. He hardly came off the ground to yeah. Myers and he still couldn't score. Andy. And his handle is at tactical fool. And it might... Be right for this one. Caldwell to Heaney. Oh, no. Oh. See what Caldwell had in the first quarter? Yeah. He would have he nearly had on that. fire. Basically, yeah. Ridiculous. What Heaney ended up with. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, Roach went butters to Anderson for that Anderson uh, run. Uh, Look, it's a good run. Sub 100. It's still a good run, but geez, you've got to have ability to yeah. get it. Yeah. The Suns are away this week. Yep. Goodness me. Yep. The runs, I'll tell you what. They come with high risk. <laughs> the runs. They do. They do. Calvin like. Uh, well, while we talk about quarters there, some of those big quarters that we did see, Bont, 62 points in that first quarter. That started off the weekend very, very nicely. Huge. And uh, I was questioning Cow, why didn't you make him your skipper? He was on the radar, but, geez, based on what he's been doing. Mm, mm. Would have been tough to give it to him. Very tough. Yeah, who else do we have there? Dan Houston had 60 points in the last quarter. Brent Daniels. Now, just quietly, he's mm. the I top know. six... Defend uh, Fords since the buys. Yeah. It's so, amazing. So I'd hate to say it, Roy, but is he in the bed? No, he's not in the bed, but he's under the blanket. Yeah, right. Yeah. She's cro- yeah. He's got a little bit in there. He's trying to get in there. Yeah. Uh, big yeah. X, another second quarter, 54 points. He, he does that. The same thing last Doesn't week. Doesn't mind that. Yeah. Ridiculous. Uh, and then Aiden Cor had a big 51 point first quarter and Tanner Braun. Hardcore. Uh, a 51.3rd. The worst and bad ones, though, you mentioned those oh there. Oh, my God. Their no, names, a, too. An like, eight-point quarter. Look at them. Heaney, an eight-point quarter. Will Day had an eight-point first half. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mercy. Oh, that's good. bad. Jeez. Look at Dunkley, though. He missed his nine. He oh, didn't yeah. quite scrape nine in with his nine. Oh, wow. He nearly got in there twice. <laughs> anyway, the week that was saw the winner. Uh, Don's got robbed. Damn, that's right. Not this week. Um, but he scored 26 Ooh, I nearly That's got, a fair score. I nearly got him. <laughs> very you good score. ripped and got done by 100. I know. You were like, I think <laughs> when I looked at it, Cal, you were like top 350 for the week. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Stock no, standard. I you moved up. 1,600 spots. Stock areas. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, the overall leader now. It's still Paps Players. Um, it's Toit. Point at the top. It's, it's 30 31 points, points yep. the difference there to Tom's Pom United. But um, only just, uh, what's that, five points behind Tom is Brady's B Dizzle. Crikey, it's on. And, yeah, not too far behind there. Another 35 points is Chris's no idea. Mm. Five. So it's going to be very close for the high Very close. It's going to be very close for the hat. So at the moment, Tom G, Tom Skills. Skills uh, is sitting in 100th spot with 44,888 points, which is the same as Dale's team hopping mad. Ooh. But because Tom has posted a bigger round score oh. by two points, it is. Gets him on the count back. Gets him back there. Oh. So, Roy, the, your maths, you are 93 points off 100th. At the I'm moment. just trying to stay in the top 200. That's Roy, it's goal. just one week away. One no, week it's away. Not. It's not. You were sitting on the unlucky mug. Oh. oh. Was it 101? Oh, I did see that photo. Stephen. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, what a day that would be. If For those people <laughs> that might be new to it, the unlucky mug, we feel sorry for the person that finished <laughs> 101st overall. So you miss out on the hat, you miss out on that glory, but you do win a mug. We go and get a mug, mate. If, it was, if you missed on Countback... We'd have to get you a whole dinner set. That's it. That's really <laughs> unlucky. Real bad. <laughs> Make a plate. <laughs> yeah. Votes are in for the Michael Barlow medal. That's our cash cow of the year for round 21. And, Roy, the five votes goes to... DJ Darcy Jones, the little helmeted giant, crafted a well-rounded stat line featuring 16 disposals, six marks, seven tackles and a goal for 98 fantasy points. Uh, Four votes goes to my boy, Colby McKercher. He loves a kick in and did the right thing 11 times by stepping out of the square. His 31 touches helped him get to 97 points. Now, 
continuing his epic form over the last month. Matt Roberts racked up 93 points thanks to his stat line of 20 disposals, five marks and five tackles to get him the three votes. 89 points for Kai Lohman. Saw him poll two votes this week. He's now up over 500k and has been a bit of an unsung cash cow hero in the forward line. It was a debut to remember for Archie Roberts who gets the one vote. He scored 80 points in a last-minute win for the rabble, that is Essendon. Now, Matt Roberts finds himself at the top of the leaderboard again with 35 votes. Ollie Dempsey is now second with 33, with Jeremy Sharp and Colin McKercher equal third on 32. Here's the news of the week you need to know on the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. All right, back on Friday night, Tom Liberatore was subbed out after hurting his ankle. We'll have a watch on that one, I guess. Stephen May ribs there for the big fella. D season's done, is it? Yeah, they're mm. done. Yeah. Yeah. Done and done. Uh, Harry Edwards was concussed on Friday night as well in that uh, double header game. And Oscar Allen hurt his finger. Ben King had a bit of a head knock too. Now, Sam Flanders. What is going on? Yeah. Right. So he sat a lot in the last quarter. 58% of the last quarter he played. So he copped a bit of a bump. They were still in the game too. Yeah. And he was right So he must have, been, must have been an issue. It must be an issue. So that might be a watch for this week. Oh, God. Where would you go with that? Oh, just one of those non fraud Fords. <sighs> Pick one. Cash him down to one of those boys that we'll talk about shortly. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Play on. Because you have to trade. Just, <laughs> it would. Just, just it would. Get up, big fella. Get up. Uh, Dylan Stevens hurt his ankle on Saturday and was subbed out, as did Steely Green. A couple of ankles there for him. Well, one, but two ankles. <laughs> Stevens and Green. <laughs> Imagine that. They were both subbed. Um, Sam DeConning hurt his knee and DeGoat. I think he's done now. He is with done. That hammy. Yep. Oh, that so, looked nasty. It's like 10 good. to 12 weeks or something yeah. they said. I thought he Ooh. grabbed high. He did. What yeah. about Cheroy? His hammy. Oh, God. No good. What does it do? Oh, it opens do up those... a spot for Kennedy to get a start for Can't two weeks, dominate, sub. and then be sub again. Can't believe they subbed him they, again. They get so pretty. They think they're so good. Yeah. He was Guys. good, though, when he came on. Oh, was he? Yeah. What a surprise. Yep. Cottrell hurt his shoulder. Oh, Charlie Kerno, his ankle. Uh, now, Charlie Cameron on Sunday hurt his hammy. He was subbed out with Look, that. Look, he was getting it iced and laughing. Yeah. So whether mm, it was really right. cold or it was tickling, mm. I'm not sure, Roy. But I think they had the game in the bag yes. at that point. So. Give you a, uh, a couple of laid outs there. Old Hipwood was out with a groin, and your mate Bruce revealed. Yeah, game lucky in. I wasn't. Luke could have it could have hurt a few people that were looking at have. that loop, yeah. and they maybe had to it's change their risk. mind. It's high risk. Uh, Ryan Burns' illness, he was out, but that meant Angus McLennan came in for his debut game. So that was a. Good effort by him. In the Magoos, a couple of things on Friday afternoon, following that a little bit there, Jack McRae had 43 disposals, <laughs> four max six tackles and 143. But our boy Riley Sanders, 39 disposals and three goals for his 134. In the wow. first quarter, he was on fire, 18 touches and two goals. What? what? That's a way it's to start way the game. too good for that level. Yes. Hopefully Bevo was watching that. Uh, Will Setterfield. Had 134, 43 touches. Hobbsy had 131. They had a couple of big scores there for the Bombers. But, jeez, had to break into that team now. I wonder how uh, Will Setterfield's dog's going. Yeah. Yeah, three-legged dog. Remember that? Yeah. Three-legged dog. Cool. Finn. Hobbs. Yes. Yep. He scored 145. Oh, Finn did. dropped. What do you have? 100 tackles. Yeah, no. Nah, 31 touches, two goals. He looked oh, all right. Good on him. And just, this is the thing. We're seeing some of our players yep. now... Making debuts. Mm. Leaky. Yes. Just slow it down, boy. Slow it down. Slow the, it down. The good thing is the Giants are humming. Yeah. They are. So, so he had 34 leaky. disposals and 118. So he's dominating. He is going to be the poster boy in the record next year. Without a doubt. Yep. We love Leaky oh, too. Yes. Yep. So tells you boy there. But yeah, the thing is though, Clay Hall. Yep. That yes, was all right. Yes, it was. So, 17. He scored 17. So he's just kept a lead still on it. Still next year. That's it. Just... I love it. <laughs> I love it. The the, uh, the roulette with a bit of that there. Tag watch cow. You're saying that it is almost redundant to uh, even play this. Tag watch. Tag watch. Yeah, look, it is redundant. Uh, Got to keep playing. It's it, though. changing though. Like I said, studio time doesn't come cheap. Well, that's it. But it's changed. We had a little resurgence of the tag. We did, and it's it's slowly it's gone again. So someone like uh, James Jordan, that's not happening anymore. That dude can't keep up with anyone. No, anymore. so he'll be lucky to stay in the team. So if he does play, maybe Nick Dacos, but maybe not. 
I don't think they'll do anything. I don't think they could even run with him. The one that will happen is Bedford. Yeah, who, so he was good. Who went to he does it. Will Day. He'll definitely do it. So what do you, he held Will Day to eight points in the first quarter, in yeah, the first half? Yeah, half. In a half. <laughs> half. So he'll go to Lockie Neal, won't Nuts. he? Has yeah. to go to Lockie Neal, he and will. that's the first game on Saturday. That'll, that'll leave uh, Dunkley to rack up, Roy. To watch. To, to watch. Date. Well done, Lockie. Yeah. That's why we oh, picked him. I think he's tagging you, Lockie. <laughs> that's why we picked him, because he doesn't get a tag. Doesn't help. I'll shepherd for you. Yeah. Uh, and the only other one to look at would be... Jack Graham, but he didn't even do anything last week. No. So we thought he might have gone to a Sheasel yeah. or someone like I that, but no. Nah, just they've didn't. just given up, haven't they? Well, maybe so. Yeah. Now, if he does decide to do something, maybe it's Jack Sinclair, but that's a stretch. I can't see anyone getting a tag this week other no, than... No, um, can I. He'd be the one you'd go to for them, but... You would think so. I don't think it'll happen. I don't think it happens either. So, Lockie Neal, the only one on tag watch this week in the most redundant <laughs> segment. I'm, there's a theme here, Roy. Yes, there Create is. Create a song, mm. just goes downhill. Well, both songs have worked. You guys didn't want me to win a hat. We did want you to win no, a you hat. Didn't. That was a lie. And you didn't want tags to happen anymore. Oh. And you've killed them too. <sighs> well done. Let's right. get back in the studio. Knock someone else off. Do another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's start thinking and talking about this weekend. It is round 22. It's a semi final. So, what that means is basically it's knockout time now for yep. our coaches if you are playing this week. But. You might have won last week. Maybe. And got through. So you've got the weekend off. And that's interesting for trades. It is. For some coaches. And we've got, had a few questions come through, but I guess we can talk about that now. Yep. Mm. If you're playing for leagues, you're not worrying about your overall ranking, et cetera, et cetera, no. et cetera. What are you doing? Can you cash up? You can. But then you're also in a position where, like, we've had a bit of a good run of injuries, like, yeah. lately. Is there much point? Like, you cash up with a heap of money and then... Forced trades at the moment, you get into anyone you basically want anyway. You do, yeah. Having a little bit there would be nice, but what are you thinking? You like the double downgrade option in that position? Could be. If you are in that position, like we care a lot about our overall ranking. And the other thing is you're probably in multiple leagues. True. That's a thing. But if you were literally in a league and Mm. you have the week off and you want to do that, it's a nice way to go. And it might mean that... You're not looking at this week's matchup at all. Someone no. could have a tough matchup this week. Yeah. But then it's okay for the last two that you might hold on to or yeah. that you are you'd targeting. Want, you'd want your team to be humming, though. Yeah. You wouldn't just double downgrade rookies and have Mason Wood still in your team. No, because you might still have issues next week mm. to deal with. Mm. Yeah. But Mason yeah. Wood would have to go. Yes. I don't but, care how you're holding. Oh, at this point. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, it's in play for sure. You've got to back in the system, dog. The system. The system. Right. So what do we want to look at? Some well, options? Well, okay, yeah. So I guess that's the thing. So with those trades there, you work out what you might be best mm. for. But then again, you probably don't want to take in heaps of cash either. No. Because you can't always spend it. All right. But most people will be trying to trade this week because it might be trying to win. Might be trying to do that. Now, what it comes down to, I guess, is prioritising still. Mm what those best moves are. So it is finding the weakest link. Yeah. But it's where, probably a better way to put it, is where are you finding the most upside? Is yeah. that a better way to put it, do you yeah. think? Yeah, let's just put it like that. Like, it's throwing darts, picking which premium well, is going to suck the most. we're not getting it right, are we? No, nah, you go to matchups, you go to form, you go to oh, projections. It's just a hard pick at the moment. So let's just have a look at who we think are going to be the good options to bring in. Now... Down back, three form guys with good runs. You can't really go wrong, I wouldn't think, with Newman, Sinclair, mm. and Nasaya Wanganine Miller. Now, splitting the priority there is where we have to focus. Yep. So we need to, in the next minute or so, order Newman, Sinclair, and Wanganine Miller. Yep. Go. <sighs> Look, Newman, well, it's... it's Sinclair's run of Richmond Geelong yes. in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. And he's playing as a midfielder. Yeah. He's floating through, taking those easy plus sixes. I think he's the number one. Yeah. Showed ceiling last week. I think he ticks all boxes. So he's I'd at 899k. Well. Yeah. Right? So he's even a, bit, a good price. Newman's a little bit cheaper, though, at 872. And he's coming off a ceiling game, that 140, which, I mean, it's the second time he's done 140 on um, the Pies. And he hasn't had many other 
ceiling scores, one or two others. But he's got a green run home, Hawthorne, West Coast, St Kilda. So on paper, he is another elite option. Can have a big quarter. Can do. But he can have a quiet quarter too. He can do. He's capable of both. But um, he's a great option. And bringing it home with St Kilda, who's a as good as it gets for a defender in the grand final, that's got to be something that you'd be interested in. Yep. Now, Wangley Miller has got Richmond this week. Yep. He already played him this year for a 127. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's a good matchup. It it's is. elite. But, yeah, I'm having difficulty splitting Newman and Wangley Miller. Yeah, that, that's a definitely a hard one. Now, I think, well, Newman has shown the higher ceiling. But for some reason, it feels like Wanganine Miller is ready to put some on that 120 that I he did so. on them earlier this year. He, he's someone that could really um, pop this week. So I think does I'm going to play. Does it, it worry that he, like he's coming off that 91 or anything like that? I guess the Brisbane not, matchup. No, yeah. yeah, and that's why I don't like they lost by basically 100, and he's still got 91. I kind of see it as a positive going into games against Richmond, super easy, and then Geelong, who was super easy. But I'm going to go Sinclair, clear number one, yep. Newman, number two, and Wanganine Miller, um, number three. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if Nasai is right up there over Newman this week. But I'm taking the other two games into account as well. I think so. Newman's got the best run out of the three. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'm happy with that. Now, the question is, and this is where all of this is, you're not upgrading Logan Evans to one of these guys anymore, are hey, you? People Cal? might still have him out there, dog. They could be. <laughs> so you, you're shuffling someone that you would have thought five weeks ago was probably a keeper in your side. Yeah. And this is where we're getting to at this point in the season, this bloody luxury trade season. Mm. All right, I'm going to start with, if you're still going with Luke Ryan, yeah. does he now <laughs> stay? He has got to stay, doesn't he? Well, he bought himself a week, really. He did. Who do they play? Geelong at home. Yeah. Like, look, he should be all right. He should be fine there. But he He should have been all right in some other game. Oh, 100% he should have. But he's backburned Luke Ryan. He was. The proper one, not the crying one. Does the MCG help him? Like, was that a positive for him, the size and the space there? It did, look. Obviously, Optus is like that too. Yeah. Um, I just think it's, it's that nine marks. That's a team high. Yeah. In fact, it was a game high nine marks. Yeah, and they were willing to do that. Cross the ground, nothing yep. to him. Like he went plus 12 a couple of times and they didn't move a metre forward. Love it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so if you've got him, he, he stays, doesn't he? Possibly. He does. All right. What about Nick Martin? One ton, one ton. It was a good ton it was. in his last seven games since his bye. Last week in the last quarter, he kicked two goals for his 27. Mm. And that's where he went to the wing. Saved him to a 96. Sorry, 86. 86. 86 is not good enough. If you're scoring 27 points in the last quarter, kicking two goals. Yeah. That's – he's on my radar, radar to go. So the two two goals saved his quarter. Yeah. And the 27 saved his overall score to something semi-respectable. So, dog, you're the bomber, man. What's his role? What is it? He spends time at half back, but then mm. he pretty much went to the wing. And that's where, as we know with players <laughs> – Woody Woodpecker, oh, yeah. players that play on the wing mm. and play those sorts of roles, they can go missing. They can go quiet. So, and it's his role has changed from the start of the year. Yeah. When they were literally going out yeah. of their way to get it to him. Yep. They don't worry about that anymore. So, yep, he can go. Although I feel like he's in for a decent game this well, week. Well, it's Gold Coast this week. That's the thing. And Gold Coast have been giving up points. Yes. So half backs if he's playing. If that he's sort playing of role half back, they position. have been. So yep. he played against Gold Coast in round twelve, had a ninety seven. So leading into his buy he was averaging one oh nine. Yeah. yeah. After his buy he's twelve points less. Yeah. Sounds about right. I think you can move him. I think he can go. Oh, well. They've got Brisbane in the last round as well. Yeah. So you're thinking forward as well. And we that. all know this is gonna bite us. Oh, 100%. You, know, you can just feel it now. But But I've traded out better players than Nick Martin in the last few weeks. Yeah. But if you're getting Nick Martin. Sink or That's Newman. That's a, a no-brainer. Sinclair's a no-brainer. Newman could go either way. Is this your blue eyes saying this, though? About Newman? Yeah. You look at his scores. He's had, like, two hundreds in his last two, one he scraped to. He's, that's not, there's not many hundreds in his last ten. Yeah, there's not many plugs. It's all 145. That, that's his Collingwood matchup. Yeah. That's not the first time he's done that to Collingwood. You have a look. Click on his name. Oh, I'm with you. It's so not he's overly impressive. A 145 and then that 100. And yep. before that, a 74, 97, 87. See what I'm talking about? Yep. See but I think about. the matchups coming up are a little bit more juicy Enough than Enough to those. give him a boost. I All think right. So. Right. 
Nick Martin, what about Dacos? Who had a 90. Was it 92, I think, in the oh, end? Didn't look. cop the attention that we thought he may have done from Chincotta. No. Look, so... so got, well, who have they got this week? So Blues? they're, they're at got, the SCG. They've got the Swans. And normally you're like... And they're not doing Oh, anything. no, yeah. not the Swans, not at the SCG. Now we're chasing that matchup. Well, <laughs> the thing is, though, do you, do you feel like me... The Swans are going to turn this on Yeah, now. I felt they like they would have put on a show on the weekend. Yeah. Like, look at us. But look at this. Don't forget who Bombers we are. Bombers playing in a fortnight. They'll turn. That'll be, yeah, so they'll be right there. Last week against the Swan. Butters, 128. Rosie, 126. Willem Drew, 117. Ollie Wines, 106. No Dugowie. So he will be the number one banana in the midfield. Mm. Unless James Jordan go, oh, scary James Jordan. No, yeah. I'm not scared of James Jordan. No. And neither should he be. I think he gets another guy. I think we keep Dacos. Dacos stays. Yep. Right. Yep. Any other names there? Oh, Holmesy. Holmesy, Holmesy can go. That was a 70. He can go. Clark can go, even though he's got a good matchup. Clark can he's, go. He's just so that 90 Clark guy. goes before Ryan. Oh, and then I'm still not comfortable with that even. I don't know. That's a really tough one still. So, obviously, Ryan had him covered this week. Mm. Um, they... They look like they put a little bit of attention into Clark. Did you notice that? Yeah. Um, like, that's why he was just standing there while they did their kicking uh, around, which okay. he usually gets um, did amongst. Did he get assessed for a bit of a shoulder as well? Is that in that? I think you did. I don't know. He keeps putting his arm brace on through the week as well. Yeah. He's a worry. Oh, that is a concern. Yeah, I mean, it's a good matchup. He puts it on the podcast. Yeah. That's where I'm saying That's it. aggressive <laughs> podcasting. He advertises it. Um, yeah, so he's someone you could consider if you don't have Sinclair. Sinclair's an upgrade from – actually, Sinclair is an upgrade from Dacos, Martin, Clark, Holmes and Ryan. He is. So you could do any of them, to be honest. But I guess – At yeah. this time of year. Yeah, wow. All right, let's look at the midfield. Trelaw was the uh, poster boy last week. He was. Would you still want him if Not you haven't got him? Oh, he's – well, truly... He still scored more than he averaged last it's week. still a good got score. It go. It's just if – X didn't it's, do the one fifty. Yeah, it's um, he's well and truly entrenched in the top of the roll on twenty two in the top section. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess he's a trade target. He's run home. Looks so, like what? Yeah, they're in Adelaide, and then they've got North Melbourne, who are actually difficult at the moment. And into, he gets tagged there too. Into GWS mm. potentially Bedford as well. Is midfield the place mm. that we want to, um, that we want to be really shopping? That's the other side mm. of it. I don't, I don't think... You just roll with it because it feels like whoever you trade out are yeah, scoring well. They are. You know, Butters was, a well, for me, two weeks ago, yep. the right one to trade out. He was just under 100, I think, yeah. last week against Carlton. And I was going, oh, yeah, then has a 120 or yeah. 130 or whatever it was. Yeah. It's just those... Walshy, we talked about him. Yep. Goes, has 10 marks and goes to do that. Mm. Um, Rosie, Bond, they all just stepped They can up. all go and do that. Yep. Which yeah. we know at this point of the season, this luxury mm. trade season, but... Is it the place that you want to be playing with? It depends. Because I guess. are there matchups that really jump out in the midfield? That's the other side well, of it. Well, like you see those guys doing one thirties. If you can pick the midfielder that is going to have these sucky eighties that we saw yeah. on the weekend, that's that's huge. That's a game changing trade, isn't it? Like, like how how would you pick Dunkley against St Kilda? Couldn't have doing that. Green versus. Hawthorne yep. could have been yeah. flagged. So that was a good one. Like, And that was – I definitely – see, I'm not in a position to trade someone like that. No. But if you are in a position where that could have happened, that makes some right. sense. I'm going to throw a name at you, and I was against this. So yeah. I will say so, – silly old cow, yeah. I got it wrong. Jack Steele. So he's gone 114 in his last five. Oh, and you keep saying that's not enough. Well, into Richmond and Geelong. Yeah. How does he not get it done against those guys? He does. So Tom Green plays Brisbane this week, doesn't he? Yep. So Jack Steele, a 131 against Richmond earlier this year. Mm -hmm. He will be big again. Mm. He has to be. Yeah, he does. So could you do it? Green? So someone like Green. Is he yep. the number one uber premium midfielder on the block this week? I think so. No. <laughs> For luxury trades. Going into a game against Brisbane, Frio, and then Bulldogs, who are pretty tough as well. Yep. He, he had 120 on the Lions earlier this year, but that was at home. Yep. Now he's going up to Brisbane. 
Coming off an 84. Coming off an 84 with a goal late to save that saved score. It, yes. Oh, geez, that could have been really bad. only two weeks ago I was saying he's back. Yeah. 123, 120. Yeah. Yeah, but look at those matchups. It's the Suns, it's Richmond, it's Melbourne. And now he's got the Lions. Now he's got the Lions. Much tougher. Much tougher. For this week alone. At the Gabba. Will he hit a ton this week? He should. But will he? Will he hit the same as what Steele does? So Steele, he's, Steele beats him this week. So mm. he scored 127 against yes. the Lions. He scored Doesn't 127 camera. against the Swans. Yeah. Like he's doing it, and that's when the Swans weren't awful. Yeah. Like he's doing those big scores against decent enough sides. So he gets free ride through, you reckon? Well, yeah, I, I don't know. It's my t- my team's not that good, so he's just not on my radar to trade. No. but And the other side, who are you going to? Well, that's the thing we're trying to work out. I That's why I just don't love it. Jack Steele, that's who Cal's saying we're going to. I'm just throwing it out there. It could be 30 points in that. Yeah, okay. I'd prefer Jack Steele over Tom Green then at yeah. the moment. Mm. Is that worth a trade? Like, is that worth not... Oh, I think it is for the at top team. At this time of year, for a top team, you could be getting... If you could be, you could be like 110, that's 30 points to like knocking off everyone who just holds Greeny. Yeah. He's 94. And rides it through. Yeah. What does Green score? This week. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a 98. Mid, yeah. I was going to say mid nineties. Okay. And what should still score in that? It's got to be close to It's got to be a 120. It, mm. I don't know. I don't know. It's just interesting. But you're right, dog. You mess around with those midfielders, you're going to get burnt. Like, Noah Anderson doesn't really make us feel like we want to get him after that 98. We but don't. their run? Nah. We don't worry about runs with the Suns, any of those boys. The only one for Anderson would be next week when he plays Melbourne at home. Mm. That could be a 140. And then you'd only be stuck with him for two weeks anyway. Or then you got him for Richmond, yeah, afterwards. Yeah. But that's a way. So <laughs> those two... I'd be happy to launch into one of them for just two weeks. Two weeks only. Yeah, especially with those matchups. What about Brisbane for a run? What does that look like? Well, who are you looking at there, Dom? Well, if you wanted to go a bit different, go Lucky Neil. That not many have. No. So he'll get tagged. He's this just going to get gets a tag. The hard one. And then he goes Collingwood Essendon. So he finishes strong. Mm. So then, what about Duncan? He'll want six votes there too. He will. Duncan. Yes, he will. So yeah, would you guys? Q one ten. Would you consider would trading Dunkley? Yeah. Into him. Getting rid of him. Out of him. I'd consider it, yeah. GWS this week. Yeah. Hard team for mids. Yeah. Coming off an 83. But then who's he got? Collingwood and Essendon. Yeah. You get through You're it. Right it through. You're right it through. His recent form at the Gabba would be too high. Would, or is that where he had that 60? Surely not. I could check it out. But yeah, he's... I think he's one that you just ride through, yeah? I, I think so. Yeah. All right, Sarong. Well, you've got to give him this week. He does. He gets the Geelong game at home. Yeah. Then he travels to GWS and then he's got Port Adelaide at home. I'd be happy to move him on after this. You keep week. him. So does he could he go to like a Noah Anderson next week? Yeah, that would be worth if you're in the business of pure point chasing. Yep. That would, would that be the same as Brayshaw or do you just ride Brayshaw even with those harder matchups later? I think his form yeah, he's better. Has, has earned him the right to probably have yeah. a go against the Reds, I reckon. I agree, so mm. yep. Against the Reds. Yeah. Against the Reds. All right. That's tough. Rucks, though, it's not hard. That's not, not hard You need all. to have Marshall and Tristan, X Eric You do. In that order, or is it X number one? It's still X number one. Yep. I, I, in my role in 22, it is. They are both just awesome, and they are both must-haves. Yep. All these other trades we're talking about come secondary to making sure you have those two. So, and it's from anyone. Yes, that you 100%. don't have because there's a gap, isn't there? There is. Like, who is number three? You, is it you, English who's scoring sub hundred? It's probably Max again. Now he's Max done that. that one thirty, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. He's so, not a. You wouldn't buy into Max though. Would no, you, you wouldn't buy into it if somehow. And I saw someone in the top hundred did, or one or two have Max. Yeah, that is a time where you may not be. Buying into the top two, then. Yeah, you've got him. Just keep rolling. You kind of can't justify trading him off a one thirty, but yeah. I'd be very uncomfortable having him versus them too, though. So Max has got Port Adelaide this week. Oh well, it's a gimme. It, it should be. Yeah. So you, that's probably the only situation where you wouldn't be trading in the ruck department. No, the very few people that have Max. You would let him get this one, and then he goes um, up to Gold Coast to play Wits. Right. He can go then. He can. Yeah. So well, luxury wise, then. 
you would do it this week, even off his one. You could do. For long term yep. purposes. It, it's because, um, so it's Marshall here. He goes Richmond, Geelong, Cole. Oh, it's epic. And that's it why we needed to do it earlier. But yeah. I bit the bullet last week and said, just have to get it done for yep. this run of games. Um, so Hef puts out an awesome list of the top. Um, 100 yep. stats. So X is in 97 teams. Imagine if you're one of those three teams that don't have X. It'd be hard to watch. You're watching what he's doing to be you. horrible to watch. Oh, um, back to back you 150s. just have to get him in. Yeah. You would. Rowan Man. Marshall's in 75 of the top yep. 100 at the okay. moment. And then you go to English, who is in 22. Dare I say, if that 22 doesn't go on top of um, There'll be two Marshall. left. There'll be two unlucky coaches with an injury and then, left with him. Yep. Max Gone is in one team in the top hundred. There you go. So if you you are that person, you ride it. Well, I'd still if you the rest of your team. What's his is run humming, look like? V eight. Who's that? Well, Max. it's an easy one then. At Port Adelaide one. and then Gold Coast. That's so not great. Mm. It's a good one this week. Yeah. So it's a clear top two. Only that one guy in the top hundred, and obviously a few scattered around that would have that Max decision to make. Long term, you still do it. Though, isn't it? Yeah. Long term, you'd still do it, but you could hang on for one more week. And the other thing, interesting thing about the rucks is that's where we're finding our captains, yeah, and our vice captains. Well, they I, are pumping out big scores. I dare say those two will be in the top three. They'll have to be this week. They'll have to be. You could roll one to the other, so God, you, you don't want to miss out on that. And we also got what do we got? Golden on Friday night against yeah. the Pies. Mm. Now, you if Walsh that. can take ten marks, Roy, great rocket, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Public rockets. I then feel bad doing them. Four line marks bullying, but it in worked. four weeks. And 10 the next. Ten in. It was a clear change yep. in his focus out there. In hunger. Yeah, hunger was definitely there. So Goulden racks up this week against the Pies. Yeah. And then we've got the two big rucks. So we've got three players with every chance to hit 150 there. Agree. We might all be scoring 2,500 this week. You know? <laughs> oh, you wish, Doug. Hopefully the whole world will. Let's look at the forward line just because it's something different oh, for us trying to work out go. who the heck can be our F6 or F5 even as we're rolling there. Oh, man, oh, Five man. is more. Five is But he's more. not setting your world on oh, fire. No. I don't think that he's, he's no. epic, but you might as well just roll he's him. Definitely, he's definitely number five. He doesn't do much wrong. He just doesn't do much right. The completed teams, the good coaches, mm. have been, well, completed with more and then Grind Myers. Yes. Grind Myers. He disappointing. can go. No, He's no, very disappointing. No, no, no. So we're looking, at, we're looking at super cheap dudes there. Um, so Peatling and Philippo. Yeah, they're the two key ones, aren't they? They're, they're cheaper. They're scoring better. Yep. They're more likable. Their roles. They try. <laughs> Their roles are just good. Their roles too. are way better. Um, All right. Which ones? CBA's Split them. there. Split There's them, Roy. Okay. Now, I would usually hear if Canelio and Kelly were yep. out for the rest of the year, I would say I would take Peatling over Philippu purely because I like the consistent ability to lay a lot of tackles. Even if you're having an off day, you can tackle. Of course. Yes. However, they're both tests for, oh, no, one to two they've got pushed out to, didn't they? Yeah, probably one now. Um, so that leaves me now um, Philippu slightly ahead of Peatling. With two really good matchups to yeah. come. Yeah. So the matchups, the role, he come off that injury and he's straight back into that old role. Yep. Yeah. Now he scored in a 100-point flogging. Straight off injury, straight back into that role. It's Philippu 1, Peatling 2. Saints at the top did go all right, though, didn't they? They like did. You had Marshall scoring well. You had... Steele, Steele scored well. Sinclair, Sinclair scored well. Yeah, so yeah. Despite the loss. But yeah. he was their fourth highest scorer with yeah. 96. Yeah. Mm. I think, yeah, I'm Poo over Pete. Yeah. That's so, right, Cole. That's it. Other names to throw in the mix there, then. We've got to just give a hat tip, well, I think, to... Uh, Brent Daniels yep. trying to get in the bed. Right so I First wrote it, time. First time he's been mentioned this year. Twitter last night and try to work out um, for the last, must be six rounds, is it? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, that's six. Um, that, uh, who, who the high scorers have been mm. in the position. So basically a, a rolling 22 of such, Roy. Yeah. Or the actual, what? Roy? Mm. The actual 22. That would basically it, resemble the names what I've aren't, done. like, most of them mm. don't. Make you think too much. Whitfield, Stewart, Sinclair, Sheasel, Newman, Dacos. Yep. yep. Neil, uh, Dunkley, Butters, Steel, Brayshaw, Goulden, Rose, Cripps. Yep. yep. ex Harry Marshall. Zorko, Caldwell, Flanders, Moore, Keys, and Daniels. Mm. 
Daniels. You know he's not anywhere to be seen there. Oh, Heaney. Oh, my yeah. goodness. This is on most points. He did miss a game, but then I went to average. He still doesn't make a top But he's, six. he's 88 average in his last five. Yeah. yeah. So, Brent Daniels, I don't think... Why and how? He's and not... could you do it? No. No, you couldn't. But, like you said, tip your hat. Credit where credit's due. Mm. He's been pinch hitting in the middle and doing good things yep. in there. Like, he provides a little bit of electric punch in there for him. Um, he's another one that well, would... draft coaches. <laughs> yes. He's another one that will not enjoy Cogs and Kelly coming back, probably. However, 99, 116, 93 in his last three. Unbelievable. It's uh, credit where credit's due. Now... The scale, cow. Mm. Oh, jeez. The scale for Brent. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Have we had enough talk about Brent? As a mid? 100%. <laughs> no, yeah. but so the scale says... Pete Link's got the same one, so it's like that's it. semi-interesting. The scale... Oh, okay. What is it? Not oh, so it's at the Gabba, yeah. Frio, and then under the roof right. against the Dogs. Mm. Okay. So we're not doing it anyway. But could you bring Powell Okay, so here's the in. scale. <sighs> North Melbourne have a great run of games. Yes, they've just come off the um, Richmond one, and it was Geelong the week before that. Mm. So they've had good ones. But is it still green for the rest of it? It's pretty green, dog. Especially so, what for defenders here, it's all green. Yeah, West Coast Bulldogs, Hawthorne. <sighs> so, Powell and Stevenson have that role. So, Powell's is interesting. That sort of changed a bit. Mm. Centre bounces, but floating everywhere. Stevenson was back there. Stevenson's, Stevenson's disposal's not pretty, though. It's not. Uh, it's uh, still scraped to about 70%, I think. So, so, Colby back in. But is there a little whisper, Cow, that Colby might be... He's sore. He's sore. He's sore. He's been sore for a while. Mm. So selection, if Colby was out, for example, mm. whoa, 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 you I could know. launch there. You could, I couldn't bring Powell back, though. <sighs> you couldn't do it. He's dominating. Roy. He's so good. Oh, man. No, I couldn't He's averaging it. about 120 he in is. the two weeks that I haven't had him. Yeah. I know. He's, yeah, Ridic- yeah. What a move that was. That was to the bloody woodpecker, Calvin. Yeah, yeah. This Boy. game at the moment, it's providing a lot of torment, and that's a prime example of it. But he needs to be looked at. If Colby's out, Powell, he's guaranteed another 100 this week. You would think so. Yeah. He so, is coming off two very juicy matchups. Yeah, yeah they're as good as they get. Come. But he's got a role that is juicy because he's just being able to do whatever he wants. Yep. So last week, what do you have? Eight marks. But he had eight tackles. Mm. He's alive Since again. when does he do that? Yeah. He's and a goal. Like, he only had 21 touches. No but more he's for plot, mate. He's doing bits of everything. He's he power again. He sure is. Right. We've talked about a lot of names. Yeah, we, we have. Yeah. The most traded in players ahead of round 22, we have Mateus Philippou right at the top of the list there with his teammate, Roel Marshall. Two good players to be getting in this week. Wow. Archie Roberts, James Peatley and Jack Sinclair round out the top five mm. most traded in players. All worth bringing in. All worth. Great names to have. Archie Roberts. People are on. Good one there too. If you were looking for that... Um, Bench cover yes. in your back line. Good one yes. there. Most traded out. Billy Dowling is there. Logan Evans. So say, see you later. Those rookies that have made some coin. But then it's Grundy English. And Lawson Humphrey is another rookie there. But Grundy and English, mm. two rucks. Where are they going? To either X or Marshall. Yep, they must have. You've got what to have them both. What is happening? Mm. All right, what is happening in our teams? Right, I am doing that. I'm going to get um, Marshall in this week. And I'm also going to go Nick Newman in somewhat a luxury trade. Nice. English is, of course, out. And so is Nick Martin. Interesting. Mm. I'm doing something similar there, Roy. So I'm bringing uh, Wanganine Miller yep. and Peatling as my F7. Yeah. Oh, and I game. will keep... The woodpecker. I have faith. I have faith and at the wow. expense of Martin and Dowling as well. Yeah. I cannot keep the woodpecker. Come on, dog. He Trust. goes and he becomes Filippo. Um, I don't really need the cash, but it gets me um, Martin to Sinclair. So I'll have bulk cash mm. in my bank because I am in some prelim finals. So yes. maybe I'm one of these coaches that's cashing up. But no, my team is better yeah. by having Filippo rather than Mason Woodcow. Trust him, mate. Trust him. <laughs> you trust owe me for that. You <laughs> owe me. Got a question for the traders? Tweet the boys at AFL Fantasy or head to facebook.com forward slash AFL Fantasy official. Tweet. Tweet, tweet.
All right, let's hit up some questions. It's not only on Twitter. But we do have our Instagram account where we get a few, post a story up there on Sunday nights. You can reply. We also do that on Thursdays when we get our uh, live stream happening. No, Roy liked a little bit of uh, Tom Stewart asking for questions this week on there. Yeah, that was good. That's good. Really good. There you go. Cow wouldn't know because you don't know how to use Instagram. I don't do that sort of rubbish <laughs> you young kids these days. <laughs> Uh, Lockie's got a question. Is Sinclair rolling 22 material? Where does he sit? He's in there. Hey, oh, he's already in there, and he's he's probably up near the top at the moment. I He'd reckon. Be second, probably. There you go. Mm. Evelyn wants to know, do you do Mason Wood to Dylan Moore or to Filippo? Mason Wood to Dylan Moore or Filippo? That is a very hard question. It because is. I could do that I as de- well. Yeah, I <laughs> default to, well, rolling 22 is going to remain Dylan Moore at F5, however, I would be very tempted to go the poo over him. Poo's roll. Mm, I don't know. Woody bounces back this week. Richmond. Oh, so you're saying to hold wood. Hold wood. Hold wood. The question Get is more about. Get your hand off your wood, mate. The, the, Stop holding it. Nah. Trade him. Is <laughs> Moore or Filippo? Yes, that is the question. All right. You, go you the, are trading. You go the poo. Go the poo. All right. Even though it might mean that you're carrying cash, like I will be. You can carry it. That's fine. Yeah. Who scores more this week? Out of those two. Yep. More or poo? Um, more, more is safer more, to score more. More plays Carlton, doesn't he? Yep. That's not a hard matchup anymore. Oh, they'll win and take their spot in the eight. They will. Mm. I will. I but. still think this week, poo's probably a safer 95. Yeah, right. Out of those two. So why are we? What did Moore do last week? Why are we against him all oh, of a sudden? I'm not against him. He's, so just, he he's a, just boring. Is that the right answer? He's right. just he's just going to be solid. He's a solid he, pick. He, 88 yeah. last week against yeah. the Giants. 89 before that. 92. Well, yeah. Philippou scores have all been better than that in the they last have. three. There you that's, go. That's why. That's the poo. And he's got the better matchup. Go the poo. Technically, and yep. he's got a better role. There you go. Yeah. Moore isn't a midfielder like no. the poo is. No. Am I right? You're right. You're right. He I'm pinch right. hits through there. Yep. Um, and that's about it. All right. Who goes first out of Jordan Clark and Nick Martin? I don't know if we really answered that one before. I'd be Clark over Martin, but Martin's going for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got both. The if you just if it doesn't make any difference who you can get to, because Martin is a bit more expensive than Clark. I'm tempted to say, oh, I think it's still Martin. Clark's matchup this week versus Geelong, I think he's the safer 98 to 100 than mm. Martin. I, I've got a feeling Martin's due for a stinker. Do you? Yeah, I really? do. Yeah, I really do. God, I feel like versus Suns, though, he's also due for one of his 120s. Just if he gets a roll that doesn't suit, it's I think it could be a 60 to a 70. So Martin first. I think Martin goes. But this is – you've got to realise – and I'm on a streak of not being able to nail 50 50s. These are all 50 50s. Agree. Like Agree. they are splitting hair things. Big time. It's really hard to pick. Yeah, we've been splitting hairs and splitting these 50 50s. That's almost been the theme of this podcast, really. Yeah. Johnny T's got this one. Hi, Legends. What's a priority trade this week? Martin to Whitfield or English to Marshall? It's English to Marshall for uh, me. It is for me this week, given Marshall's matchup. But Whitfield yeah, he's is so good. good. But at least Go Whitfield, tell him, at least Whitfield has a hard hard game. It's so a hard game. Just technically fight. this week. At the Gabba. Yeah. Against the Lions. anything it's, hard for Whit at the well, moment? Well, no, no, it's not, not really. But that's just, if, if you, like we said, splitting hairs, you've got to go the match up for the pair of them in this one. And Marshall's a captain potential. The, the best team in the comp at the moment is Brisbane. Yeah. And they're at home. Yeah. They're flying. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'd, I'd be – so what do you have? He had a 105 against them this year. That mm. was at Canberra, though. So, yeah, it's you, you need Marshall. That yeah. could be a 150 this week. Mm. If Whit you will be 120. Forgot our answer before. Jesse wants to know who's a better F7 option, Filippo or Peatling? It's the poo. It's poo. the poo. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, ben is going Martin to Roberts, chasing matchup worth it. If I can go Grundy to Roll Marshall, I can get Roberts to Sinclair next week. So, hit me with the first. So video. Martin to Roberts, who is in some form. He's scoring nineties. Collingwood. He is. Then uh, that's 
quite an easy matchup, you'd think, at home. He's like a go-to. He had like a 130 last I'm ticking that mm. off. If you can get Grundy to Marshall mm. by yeah. just going Roberts for one week against the Pies. And then get Sinclair the next And week. then get Sinclair after that against Geelong. I'm ticking that. I'm Tick. ticking it. Yeah. Uh, Mitch can Powell come in if he keeps his role? I think we've said yes. Yes, yes he can. I couldn't do it. I could do it. Go. Uh, is enough. Grundy to X Airy or Draper to steal a better upgrade? Still has a nice draw. Draper's been solid, but not solid enough for this time of the year. No. What Should Grundy be okay? Grundy had a bit of a stinker, didn't he? 80-odd? Yeah, it wasn't good. Uh, who's, so who's Grundy got? He's got... Uh, Collingwood. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That's not super easy. X. Mm. You got to get be putting to, seventy points on you. You got to get Grundy to X. You got Draper to yeah. steal. Uh, the, the, they'd both be great moves to make. They are. X is probably the one. Well, yeah, you're not putting a VC or a C on steel, but you will on X. Yep. Get so, X. So X is against West Coast. Last week against West Coast, Witsy goes 140. There's, there's your answer. What about this one? Do you get more in for Jackson or Marshall for Grundy? Oh, God. You've got to fix up Jackson. Jackson, did he have you? a 45? Yes. He had, yeah, what was it, two points in the second half? Yeah. That's got to be fixed, doesn't it? Uh, that just has to be Who's fixed. Who's he played this week? Geelong. Uh, even... No, nah, he got he got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. Fix I wonder if first. he could be clever with that. And this is not knowing any situation. Like his bench. Don't say hashtag team dependent or anything like no. that. But get there and go. Um, could Jackson go down to your Filippo? Good and play him on field instead. Does that get you the cash to get Mar- uh, Marshall mm. in for Grundy or things like that? Yeah, is that where you'd play a little bit differently yeah. because there are some of those cheaper options. Yeah, because I'd, I'd even. I'd even revert back to playing someone like Manor and just leaving. Yeah, there. so you could try to loop even yes. before you make that decision. Mm. I don't know the timing of everything no, this weekend. Same. To get Grundy to Marshall, you need about 200K. Okay. Mm. So what is um, Jackson? Jackson be 700. Mm. Yeah, I reckon you'd be able to do it. Jackson's, so, yeah, just under 700. And then Filippo? He's really he still yeah. under five. Uh, he is, yeah, just over five. Mm. So you yeah. may or may not. You'd be yeah. close. Yeah. If you had a bit I'd in prefer the to do something like that, I think. I yeah. think so. Yeah. That's where I'd be at. Yep. Uh, right, if cash isn't a factor, who goes out of Martin and Ryan? We're saying Ryan there, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Even though he's coming off a bigger score. He is. Yeah, but have a look at his other ones. Flash in the pan. Yeah, good matchup though. I know. Could you trade Heaney for Miller? But to who? Yeah, who are we going to? Thing. Unless you're going. Unless you're in trouble well, elsewhere with cash. Unless you're going Heaney to Poo, mm. and that gives you the cash that to might go. Get you Grundy to Marshall bang bang or, somewhere else. I tick that off. I tick that off. Heaney surely comes out and repays Faith this week, but he, I'd still take the cash if it means an upgrade somewhere else for sure. Yep. Goodness me. Mickey, is it time to have a conversation about a snout for Whitfield? <laughs> He's playing like He's it. He's doing some great things. Isn't he? Yeah. Since that buy, that is even better than last time we talked about since that buy. Yeah. So he's Amazing. gone up again. So, yeah, look, it, it, we can talk snout, but he's got to do that again. Yeah. To be snouted here <laughs> is only going to say near impossible. Yeah. yeah. Based on what the criteria of a snout has been. We need, yeah. a, we need some We levels. need to tweak it a bit. That, like legend status of um, yep. the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame those, pigs. Those pigs need to turn into boars. And the thing is... And then we have some pigs below We them. need to... Someone like X, he's young. Oh, yeah. He's a champ. He's doing things. He could be the next ruck pig. Big time. He yes. could be, we could call him a ruck pig now. He he could get a legitimate pig status at some stage in the next five years. As you said, every ball up, he taps for five yeah. points. He, you go back-to-back 150s, you're in the conversation. He's only young. Yep. He's got time. Uh, Lockie wants to know, do you tra- trade Heaney or Myers for Filippo? It's Myers. Myers. Myers goes. That's an, can Myers that's an just upgrade go? and a cash grab. Yep. Myers can go anyway. Can yeah, he? he can. But like he'll, you, you're going to watch him do 100 on your head mm. at some stage. Yep. But then a couple of weeks later, you'll get to enjoy a 60 from him. So, yeah, listen to these scores. 53, 
that's low. 98, whoop. 52, boom. 116, whoop. Yeah. 67. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. It's so up and down. You can get rid of him. Like someone like Philip whose role just allows a consistent ninety ish. Yep. With but good matchups. As you said, expect a ninety this oh, week yes, from him. For sure. For sure. <laughs> uh maybe we leave this one here just from Zach says, just a little one for Roy. Go pies. Oh, like I need to be kicked any harder. <laughs> Block him. <laughs> Blocked to Kemi Matumbo. Get out. Anyway, that'll do us. Thanks very much for tuning in for another episode of the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. We're heading into round 22. Three weekends to go. Three weekends Make sure to go. go. You're checking out all the content at afl.com.au slash fantasy, such as the stock take on Wednesday. Cows, fantasy ready. Numbers keep increasing. Yeah, now. so do yours, Roy. I had a look the other day. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, it's no, starting no. to go up again. No, uh, I'm like Eeyore. Everyone's just, I don't <laughs> want to be around that negativity. <laughs> Check that stuff out. Plenty of exciting things to be coming during the week, including on Thursday night. We have got our live show. So tune in for that. 6.15 on afl.com.au and the AFL Live app. Be part of it. Yeah, yeah got to be there. It's going to be fun. Good luck this week managing what you're going to do. Make your moves. And we'll see you next time. Bye.